the through line here is just fantastic. I'm loving seeing all the connections. My name's Guillermo Brown, and uh, I have a project called Pegasus Warning. I'm a drummer in my day job. You can catch me every night of the week on CBS with uh, fellow Creative Capital awardee Reggie Watts on the Late Late Show with James Corden. But it's not about drumming, really. It's about Pegasus warning. What's a Pegasus warning? A warning to myself to follow my dreams and to revel in the spirit of inspiration. A beacon to go down those pathways that can make fear real or turn love into dread. To steadfastly face those things that I am fearful of where demons are symbols of the greater human condition. I'm striving high and making songs you can sing along to and sounds you can't. I'm turning words into drum patterns and voices into drums. PW is a project, a character that I devised from a dream I had in residence at Caldera in Sisters, Oregon, with talks and studio visits I did with the MFA students at Pacific Northwest College of Art. Uh, dreams risen out of a need to save my own soul and to find inner peace. a safe space that I've constructed to access my superpowers. <laughs> what are some of those powers? Shape-shifting, hovering, crossing boundaries, playing with time, and transforming. With drumming at the foundation of my discipline, there are a lot of things going on at once, and that's what gets me going. So what's a Pegasus warning? A lover, a fighter, a dreamer, a healer that needs to be healed. A place where I prototype perfect imperfection and graph known unknowns. I'm looking at impulsive responses to environmental and social conditions in the animal and human world. begin to think about where I want this project, Pegasus Warning, to go. I began to see that the next move from expressing this love for oneself and the inner emotional landscape, the world of love and relationships, and to use this as a frame to engage larger problems in the world around us, like bee colony collapse, disorder, and gun violence. Moments from the future that I'm fearful of the fighter. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the sonic world since I'm still in the research and development phase of this project. <laughs> What's a bee boy? It's a group of songs arising out of the research that I'm doing about bees and guns. Musically, I come from this world where electronics and acoustic instruments interface with voices and contemporary production techniques. And I'm excited to start working with the director, Charlotte Braithwaite and Abigail DeVille. Uh, we have a residency at MIT uh, later this fall and next year. The work is designed to expand and contract depending on the setting. I'm working with a choir, a small ensemble, and a dancer in these workshops. This is a little bit 
what I sound like live. Let's imagine that B-Boy focuses on the musical portion of a larger project that I'm working on called The Florist, which could fan out to include an installation, a movie, book, or, or game. Pegasus Warnings, Purple Rain, or Space is the Place. It takes as one of its jumping off points Pushkin's tale of Sars Alton. Pushkin, who himself died in a gun duel, where a banished prince turns into a bee to deliver an express message over land and sea that things are going to be all right. I'm hypothesizing that there is a root cause to our bee and gum problem. I'm in the research stage, but I have some ideas that humans are at the center of it. <laughs> I'm examining human, animal, and plant world survival here. You can turn it up. Or go back or turn it up. If we both So what am I looking for? A booking agent and a producer to dream into this work with me. Video artist and projection mapper, venues for the premiere. I'm looking for ways to connect this project with communities affected by gun violence, anti-gun advocates, gun enthusiasts, folks actively engaged in bee culture, scientists, community organizers, and choirs. Thank you very much.